with Daniel Cormier, John Jones, welcome via satellite. I got to tell you guys, I'm very torn because I don't want to see fights during press conferences, but because of that fight in that press conference, there's so much energy and excitement attached to this particular fight. Would, if you had to do it all again, John, I'll ask you first, would you have gone after Daniel the way you did? You know what? Um, I think I would have. I think I would have. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been in uh, many stir downs and uh, I've never had my throat grabbed. And the guy grabbed my throat and uh, I had to kind of stand my ground and let him know that I won't put up with nonsense like that. So, yeah, I think I would do it again. Daniel, would you have reacted the same way again? Well, I mean, I probably, I mean, if he were to do that again, yeah, you know, and it, it, and knowing that he would have probably come at me, I, I would have probably smacked him upside of his head instead of just pushing him away from me. So you did not expect him to drop his belt and start throwing punches? Well, I mean, I don't know. I just didn't expect him to touch me from the get-go. You know, we do right. stare downs. Right. He's been in a number of stare downs, but uh, he didn't have to touch me. I wasn't there to be touched. I was there to do a, it was for a photo, a photo opportunity, and uh, John just actually took it too far. Now, I, I wanted to see this fight, period. I'm a huge fan of both of you gentlemen, but there's a cr tremendous amount of intensity attached to this fight because of that. Has that ramped up your training, John? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I'm having a phenomenal training camp. Um, working my butt off, you know, three or four times a day. Um, feeling great. You know, my knee's been able to hold up. Um, got a great group of guys in here working with me. And uh, I'm just excited. I feel great. One of the things that I love that you said, Daniel, is that you have been waiting to meet the man that is your equal. Please be that man. Yeah, because you know what, man? I fought a number of guys, and I was fighting guys early in my career that had way more experience than me, fights that I weren't supposed to win, and every fight I dominated. John Jones has to be the person that can stand across the cage from me, and when the going gets tough, he doesn't wilt. Do I believe he can do that? No. I believe that when we get into that cage, John Jones is going to walk there with his title. I'm going to start pulling at that man's title for the first two rounds, and he'll hold on to it. But right around the third round, fourth round, John will open his hands, let his grip go, and say, Daniel, take it. This is too hard. I don't want to deal with it. I'm going to push that man to a place that he's never been in his entire life, and I will make John Jones quit. Sunday morning, Joe Rogan, you will wake up, and you will say, how Daniel make this look so easy? John Jones, your reaction to hey, that? Hey, hey, Joe, listen, the guy has a job commentating for a reason. So, we'll see on January 3rd if that's my job. That's my real job. January 3rd is my real job, John. John, what is your assessment of Daniel's skill set, and what do you think will be the difference in this world title fight? You know what, basically, uh, I believe that I'm a much better martial artist. Uh, Daniel Cormier has a phenomenal wrestling base. Uh, but this isn't a wrestling match, you know. I, uh, I am bathed in uh, that cage. I've fought in all types of uh, great fighters, man. Uh, South Falls, Orthodox, wrestlers, black belts, karate style, you name it, I've seen it. And uh, where he has a tremendous wrestling experience, I have tremendous championship experience. I feel great, and uh, you guys are going to see that. Do you think that this will be the biggest threat that you've ever faced inside the octagon? I can't say that. I can't say that. Um, maybe it'll be a, a bloodbath. Maybe it'll be a war. Um, maybe I'll go out there and dominate him, make him look not so good. Um, we'll just have to wait to find out. Daniel, do you anticipate that this would be the most difficult fight in your undefeated mixed martial arts career? 110%. Listen, outside of everything, outside of everything that I say about John, if there's dislike between us and everything, John Jones is rightfully the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. He's defended that title a number of times. I've seen him do things I didn't think he could do. But I know that in this fight, I'm going to test him in ways that he hasn't been tested before. He's working hard. I'm glad to hear that because I wanted to fight the very best John Jones there is. I'm working just as hard, and I'm ready to fight. I cannot wait till January 3rd. It's going to be awesome. This fight is everything I love about high-level mixed martial arts fighting. Two men in their prime, the two best fighters in the world, in their weight class, the pound-for-pound -pound best fighter in the world, John Jones, and then, of course, Daniel Cormier, the undefeated challenger. Cannot wait for this fight, gentlemen. Good luck to both of you.